What's going on guys, we're about a week away from the trade deadline, we just got our first big trade in a month since the fully went to the Flames, with the Anaheim Ducks trading Josh Manson and Dakota Avalanche for a 2023 second round pick and Drew Hellison. Now, Drew Hellison, I didn't realize, actually a decent prospect, was taken in the second round of the 2019 draft, currently playing for Boston College in his third season, looks to be producing pretty well there as a defenseman. And I just realized guys, he actually played a few games with Team USA at the Olympics this year, which is pretty cool. Honestly, I think the Ducks did okay here, they're also retaining 50% of Manson's contract to make sure the Avs under the salary cap. Now in game here, kind of surprisingly, Colorado's not interested in Manson. I think it's probably because their defense is stacked. Even though he is a solid defenseman, 29 years old, 84 overall, uh, definitely more of a defensive defenseman than offensive. In terms of analytics, I don't think you know, he's got the best numbers, but um, I think they were better in the past. So 50% here on Manson for a second rounder on Hellison. We'll see if the trade goes through. Now, Hellison's not in the game. So we're going to have to find a prospect similar rated to him, in my opinion, which to me, a second round pick would be like a medium top four who's low rated or a low top four is kind of higher rated. I feel like Justin Barron's probably the closest prospect, 19 years old, sunny overall, medium top four, but he was a late first round pick. I feel like Hellison was a mid second rounder, he's 20. He's probably more like, you know, 65, medium top four, or like a 68 low top four. So since he was a second round pick, I'm thinking the most fair thing is probably just to add another second round pick to this trade to replace Hellison who's not in the game. So Manson at 50% for two second rounders. Will the Avalanche say yes? Trade's rejected. Okay, so in EA's mind, they think that the Ducks here actually at the better end of the trade. Again, guys, always for this, the trade difficulty is set to medium. Also, too, guys, I saw something funny on Twitter. Jay Fresh mentioned how much the Ducks could have gotten if they traded Josh Manson in 2019 or 2020, as people were seriously talking about him as a possible turn for William Nylander, one for one. This is, I think, coming off of Nylander's kind of rough season when he just signed that contract um, after seeing out for a bit, and, you know, the Leafs really needed defense. And you look at that trade now, and like, it's not even close. Clearly, Nylander is a much, much better player. So, just goes to show, as a GM, you really got to kind of trade your players when they have max value, especially if it's a guy you don't see kind of being part of your core in the future. And now, guys, we're trying this trade is Colorado. As you can see there, the Ducks actually have Manson on the block. They're interested in our 2023 second. Not the 2024, but remember, that's just a placeholder for Drew Hellison. I do have them retaining 50%, which is why I'm thinking they'll probably say no. But without the 50, I think they'll say yes. So trade rejected, yeah, they don't retain salary as the beginning of the year. Luckily, I was able to just send down some guys. We can just take on Manson's full contract, which I think, honestly, the reason it's 50% is just so they got under the max salary. If they could take him on fully, they would have. Will they do the two seconds for Manson now? They do. Okay, so interesting. Again, I think that tells us EA thinks that the Ducks got the better into this trade. As the Ducks accepted the trade, whereas Colorado rejected. So after that trade, guys, here's what the Avs defense will look like when healthy. Honestly, they're so stacked. Taze McCarr top pair is ridiculous. I'm thinking Manson, Gerard, but Gerard is out for like the next four to six weeks, I think, which is probably a big reason why they made the trade. Uh, Murray Johnson bottom pair. Of course, two scratched right now. They got Bowen Byer. Unfortunately, he just has tons of injury issues. Uh, they also got Jack Johnson, who will probably be playing right now because uh, both Byram and Gerard are out, but you know, once they're back, like I was saying, that defense is going to be so, so solid. And of course, too, I think Landis Cog is out right now. Once they get him back, Avalanche are looking like you know the Stanley Cup favorites for sure. So I'm going to show you guys quickly here, too, what Josh Manson looks like as a member of the Carta Avalanche. I think he should do decent there, too. Like, he'll probably be relied on a little bit less than he was in Anaheim. They just wanted to worry about defense. You know, McCarr is there for the offense, even Taze. So Josh Manson here on the Carta Avalanche, number 42 there. Game face isn't the greatest, but there you go. Manson, 42 on the Avalanche. Doesn't look too bad. So let me know in the comment section, guys, which team you think won this trade. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's only a week left before the deadline. So hopefully the trade market starts to heat up here and we get some blockbusters. Maybe Jarrera Chikrin gets moved. But until then, guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button down below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.